Okay, so this problem involves a table. Let's draw the table here. And there is a mass on the table. And the mass is connected to with a rope to a pulley. And there is a mass hanging over the table. Now, the mass on the table, let's call it uh, mass A. And that's the one over th the table, let's call it B. Let's go mass A is equal to 5 kilos and mass B is equal to 2 kilos. Okay. Now there's a coefficient of friction, kinetic friction, equal to 0 0.3 on the table. Sometimes students ask me, Mr. Ark, what about the uh, friction on the side of the table? Don't we have to worry about that? And the answer to that is we do not because there is no normal force going horizontal. The normal force for this mass, let's, dr let's draw the vectors for that guy. Let's change colors. And so we've got a normal force going up, Fn. And of course, we've got gravity going down. Okay, so that's going to be Mag. Of course, you see, these two forces exist because of gravity. But this force, or sorry, this mass does not have a horizontal force because gravity doesn't act horizontally. So what, we, what we're going to do here is we're going to draw all the forces on all the masses. So right here, we've got uh, tension, right, because ropes can only pull. And again, here, we've got a tension because ropes can only pull. Now, because this is the same rope, this tension and that tension are the same. There's only one other force, well, actually two more forces. There's one force here because of gravity. And so now you say to yourself, okay, what's touching this mass plus gravity? Okay, the rope is, and gravity, okay, that one's done. Remember, no friction here. This one, what's touching it? Well, the ground, that produces the normal force, uh, and then what else is touching it? The rope, that creates tension, which is pulling. Of course, there's one other force on this one which we haven't considered yet, and that, of course, is friction. And the important thing to remember about friction is that it acts in opposition to the direction of motion. So friction would be in that direction. And so now we're finished the free body diagram. We know, by the way, that this force and this force cancel each other out and A isn't moving up or down okay so we can quickly say you know summation of the forces in the y direction is zero therefore you can say MAG is equal and opposite to FN so we can basically forget about this okay uh, time out